clever. It's a nice one, right? No, that's I clever. thought that was cool. So they're trying to find the atmosphere on this thing. Right. You want to look at the star on its own. Then you want to look at the the planet transiting it. And you want to see which wavelengths mm -hmm. does the atmosphere, if it has one, absorb. Mm -hmm. So before even involving the model and like trying to fit like all these different models, they just did like a, a fundamental physics type of thing, which is like, let's try to figure out how big the molecules are okay. in atomic units. Mm -hmm. Atomic units are basically like one proton, one neutron. Okay. So like hydrogen would have a molecular weight of two mm -hmm. because there's one proton, no, one no, proton, no. H2, yep. right? Oxygen would have a molecular weight of 32 because it's 16 and 16, mm -hmm. eight protons, eight neutrons, eight protons, eight neutrons to make the O2 molecule. Mm -hmm. CO2 would be even more. That would be 32 plus um, 12, which is uh, 44. Yeah, 40, yeah. So you, it, w one can figure out the molecular weight yes. of that atmosphere by modeling the height of the atmosphere. Okay. okay. Because if the dominant gas, let's say the dominant gas is of some molecular weight, um, the higher the molecular weight, the lower the atmosphere is going to be right. because it's heavier. Right. Right. Um, also, we know the temperature, right? Yes. The, the higher the temperature, the higher mm -hmm. the atmosphere is going to be because there's going to be more energy for it to go yep. higher. Also, the, the higher gravity is, the lower the, the atmosphere. atmosphere is. But the gravity, we can kind of tell based on the density metrics to yes. be like, okay, it's about, you know, 60% of Earth. Um, temperature, we can tell mm -hmm. based on... Um, it's distance yes. from the thing. So we yes. can say it's 250 Kelvin. Yes. And then the height we can tell by yes. looking at the, the way Weights. that this transit works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. By the way that the transit works. Yes. And so yes. now we can yes. fit the molecular species. Yes. And they found that the, the lower bound on the mole molecular weight is about nine molecular units. Okay. Crucially, that means it can't be hydrogen. Okay. And that's huge. Okay. Okay. If it's not, if it's not a hydrogen dominated atmosphere, atmosphere. That's a very good thing because that means you've got higher pressures. Mm. You've got potentially greenhouse effects going on. Right. right. And you've already just from fundamental physics ruled out that there's probably not hydrogen there. Mm -hmm. So it's not like one of these Jupiters. Yeah. yeah right. right, right, right Jupiter right, right. is just like all hydrogen. hydrogen. Effectively. Right. 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 Like a, and a bunch of helium. That's I guess. so. It's a nice one. Right. I, I just I keep coming back to this point every time we talk about these these experimental designs is like sometimes it's just about reframing the problem set. Yeah. Right. It's not necessarily that you need the new shiny thing. Yeah. Sometimes you have the data and you just need to kind of come at it at a different yeah. entry point. So now you can now you can start simulating atmospheres that don't have hydrogen, right? right.